We are officially back on What the Puck with Michael and JR. Interesting panel, we know. <laughs> However, uh, Carter Hutton made possibly the best save of 2014. I understand it's only January. I'm hyping it up, but you'll see why when you watch this clip. And his way through, but that was blocked by Spall. Oh, and a strange bounce on in front. And what a stop there by Hutton. Carter Hutton came back out in front, dove, and took away what appeared to be a sure goal. So you see it right there, Carter Hutton made a fantastic save. Yeah. I mean, we've seen those sort of caroms off the, uh, uh, behind the net every so often. Yeah. Uh, that was a <laughs> very unlucky bounce. But the, the interesting thing about the, uh, uh, the Predators, they traded for Devin Dubnik, I believe, who they were going to bring in to be their potential number one goaltender. Right. And then Carter Hutton does this. Well, Carter Hutton does that. I mean, listen, uh, it's like winning comeback player of the year. It means you had a bad year the year before. You mm -hmm. can't, otherwise, you can't win it. Uh, <laughs> he made a terrible mistake there going behind the net, and he almost got Yeah, but caught. did he know that it was going to no, care No, he didn't, like but that? that's one of the goals. I mean, you know, he had a defenseman coming back who was going to play the puck sure, as well. Sure. So he should have stayed in front of his goal. But he made a spectacular. I mean, listen, he recovered well. So his comeback player JR, of the night. Uh, you, know, you know what they should do? Um, yes. I mean, until you got the third or fourth angle of that, they should put like some kind of highlighted thing around the puck so that fans can see. Oh my God! Don't start with that, please. Oh, <laughs> By the way, I e I, I know you are. I know you are. But I e Michael Schur's video when we used to do uh, things I'd say to. God, that was beautifully done. <laughs> when he absolutely ripped Gary Bettman yeah. left and right. And it we was... made it to a book you showed me. Like yes. Somebody wrote about Someone it. tweeted it yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, and it's like, oh, yeah. And in some shit show called TYT Sports, they talk about why they hate Gary Bettman. So, <laughs> a la Michael Schur. Uh, JR, our hockey analyst, is this oh, the yeah. uh, best save you've seen in your entire no. career? No. No. Really? I, and again, I can only go back to the few years that I was watching very intently when I was living in Detroit. And you actually couldn't avoid... Uh, a Red Wings hockey game. They but, call uh, it Hockey Town. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> there you know? it is. They played Joe Louis Arena, which made no sense because I was a boxer. Anyway, but, um, well, <laughs> calm down. I'm, I'm again. I'm messing with you guys. Calm down. It's um, hard to tell. <laughs> like it really is. I, I, I have a good deadpan. You I'm, do. I'm, I'm, Congratulations I'm on that. Mazel tov, as we would say. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Make your point about Hockey Town. I don't know the guy's name. Like I said, it was 1997 when I was watching. Um, but no, they, no those, those kind of those kind of saves <laughs> where they it was always for style points because this was when I was again a teenager and I was yeah. like, why do they do the splits and why do they do the whole flip in the when it was a it was yeah. just a regular slap shot and the, the guy decided to bust the splits. They want to show off their off. gymnastic talent. Just, it, it's it's it all is. it's all for show, which is awesome. In it's my opinion. It's not all for sure. <laughs> well, that one, what I saw was, because yeah, I asked, yeah. I was right. like, that puck was coming right in. You could have just. You want to you want to cover as much of the goal as you can. Right. I mean, I never played goalie. I think I was going to ask you not. what position did you play? I played right wing when okay. I was most of the time. What position did I, you play, Dad? When you I was a right winger. I had an Eric Nestorenko stick. Oh, sweet Eric Nestorenko. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit of a curve, but it gave me a nice, uh, nice wrist shot. Do you tape a little bit, or do you tape it all the way across? Uh, I taped about uh, halfway. Yeah. I right. would show a little bit of skin. Exactly. Know? I know. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I the funny thing is? Greg Wyshynski has people tweet to him when guys say, when guys, commentators, what have you, when they say something that's might be a little off-putting to some of the audience and they do hockey porn, that entire conversation was, was hockey porn. Uh, yeah. yeah, completely. Uh, so you were a right winger. I was a right winger. Ironic, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, we lost our uh, our train of thought there. But but goal, oh, anyway, goalies. We were talking about goalies. Um, they they want to cover as much of them as they can. They also want to anticipate. So you have this you have this big mitt in your hand. You have your waffle covering here. You want to just cover as much as you can and make it so it's difficult to. It's like a carnival game. You want to make it difficult for the guy to shoot. Then when you go down because you want to cover the the low shots, you have to be acrobatic because you have to recover yeah, from that. Yeah. Who was the best with the glove that you've ever seen? I mean, Patrick Waugh was probably the best yeah. I've ever seen with the glove. Yeah, I can't I can't Barnum. think of a goalie who is better with a glove.